Hey guys, um, so I've definitely been a little impulsive. Um, you might say, wow, you've already gone to Namibia. Isn't it a bit much going to on another little trip and also you're going to America again in three weeks? Um, you have a point. Uh, see Pettenberg Bay in the distance it's not the best view and not the nicest weather uh, that peninsula that's sticking out there is Roburg um, it's a very nice hike it's actually a national park and so it's a very long there's a little monkey there on the left baboon so it's got a long peninsula, long tongue that sticks out and so if you hike it, it's a very long, um, kind of very narrow rectangle that you hike. You sort of go out, um, you go out one way to like a point and then you come back the same way but on the opposite side of the peninsula. Um, yeah. Speed limit here is 100 kilometers an hour, so it's less than probably about 80 miles an hour. There's a better view of the lagoon, but uh, when I come back, when I come back, I'll show you guys the view on the way back, which is definitely quite worthwhile. I definitely have quite a few memories here. Um, came here with one or two girlfriends and um, did a triathlon here as well. Where I did pretty well. So definitely have some memories here. Also did a fair amount of photojournalism work here. That's the Beaconal Hotel. 
I remember coming here once with my parents when I was very young and they checked out timeshare only to not buy timeshare. I was quite devastated. I uh, also came here for a couple of high school uh, sort of end of year high school celebrations. Quite a cool corner of South Africa. Um, properties are quite expensive, um, quite an exclusive sort of place. Probably a little bit like Laguna Beach in California, not obviously as on, on such a large scale, but certainly it is one of South Africa's um, more exclusive destinations. It's quite hard to get to as well. There's a big range of mountains, you can see them there in the distance, that uh, make, that you can't like just go through them, so you've got to go around them the one way around the other way, and it's actually really hard to, to get to. Can you see them in the distance? So we're coming up on the view that I wanted to show you guys the view over the lagoon and the view over the sea obviously it looks a lot more beautiful in when the sun shining you can see Tim is also taking in the view let's go wider Pretty high to me. So I've just fueled up, got the tires ready, and um, I'm um, ready to hit the road home tomorrow. Yo. I went a bit off his line there. Um, I'm actually going to go and buy some crayfish, barbecue a couple of crayfish tails. I actually did that once with Lisa when um, my American co-author came down here and we barbecued with some crayfish tails. It was pretty good. So that's what I'm going to do tonight and then I'm going to leave early tomorrow after, excuse me, after um, a walk, a last walk with Timmy. Notice the shacks on the other side of the road. There's always such a disconnect between the wealthy and the poor in this country.
Timmy is also enjoying the view. Hey Timmy, it's a good view. I must also say I've been feeling very stale, just um, an unusual feeling of um, not, I don't know, just feeling kind of empty when I'm uh, researching and so on. And I sort of feel like I need to sharpen the saw. Um, funny enough, when I get, came back from Namibia, although I felt kind of peaceful, I wouldn't say I felt refreshed, it's kind of a different thing. I hope you've enjoyed this episode from Team Peachtree. Keep weaving and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>